Hello, my name's Gary Benoit. I'm with SolarGuard, and I'm the inventor of the ComputerCut program. In this short video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to change out a 40-inch roll for a 20-inch roll. Now, why would you want to do that when you have a 40-inch plotter? Many manufacturers discount their prices on 20-inch rolls. My company, SolarGuard, has fantastic pricing on their 20-inch rolls. So by changing a 40 out for a 20, you can see significant savings if you use a 20-inch roll on the sides of the car and a 40-inch roll on the back of the car. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it with one of our plotters that we sell, the Jaguar 5. But you can do the same thing with almost any other plotter out there on the market. So let's see how it's done. I'm going to assume that you know how to put in a 40 inch roll. In this case, with a 40 inch roll with the Jaguar plotter, what you want to do is you want to have the outside pinch rollers engaged. There's one there and one hiding here behind the cutting head. And you want to disengage the two center most pinch rollers. Once you get the 40 inch roll set up, what you want to do is you want to mark on your rollers on the back the edge of the roll on the left side and on the right side over there so that you know exactly where to place the 40 inch roll every single time you put it in on the rollers. And again, the outer pinch rollers, you can use the heavy duty PPF pinch rollers for window film. So the outermost pinch rollers are engaged, the inner ones are disengaged. Then go ahead and set it up for your 20 inch roll. You're going to engage your two inside rollers and you're going to disengage your outer rollers for the 40 inch, but don't move them, keep them in place. And you do the same thing on the back. You mark the edge of the roller on both the right and the left sides so you know exactly where to put the roll when you put it on the rollers on the back. And again, the inner pinch rollers are engaged and the two outer ones are disengaged. Okay, so let's see how long it takes me to change out this 40 inch roll for the 20 inch roll. The first thing you want to do is to disengage the outermost pinch rollers and engage the inner ones. Then pull up your lever, roll the film out, set it aside, take your 20 inch, line it up on your lines on the back and feed it through. It should automatically line up with your pinch rollers because you haven't moved the pinch rollers. Put it down, initialize it, and you're ready to cut. Let's see how long it takes me to change out the 20 for the 40. So again, I disengage the, the inside pinch rollers, engage the outer ones, lift my lever up, roll the film back on the roll, set it aside, grab my 40 inch roll, set it on the back and line it up with my markers. Slide it through. It 
should line up automatically. Put my pinch rollers down and initialize it. And I'm done. So as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it can save you a significant amount of money by using a 20 inch roll rather than a 40.